Hi guys. I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat this video or make it anything else. I'm also not gonna sit here and pout the whole time. But I did just get confirmed tested positive with COVID. Now, I think I'm the only person on the whole ship with COVID, which blows my mind because I have no idea where I got it from. We were just in Croatia for four days and nobody got it. We all tested right when we got back on the ship. Obviously I tested negative and two days have gone by. I went to my classes and everything and now I am tested positive and I'm in my isolation room for five days and if I test positive on the fifth day again I'm gonna have to stay here for five more days so I'm gonna make this place my home um, but yeah I was walking down the hallway and nobody else was in here I was the only one I don't know if that means that they're working on getting other people down here or if I'm literally the only person on the whole ship with COVID which blows my mind because I didn't do anything that the next person didn't do. I went out, I went to the bars, I was drinking, but I wasn't like making out with anyone, obviously. I wasn't really talking to anyone I didn't know. Like I wasn't talking to strangers. I actually didn't meet anybody from Croatia. And usually that's how you get it, by like having a conversation with someone or like, you know, if you actually like kiss somebody, you obviously would get it. But yeah, so about a day ago, I couldn't stop sneezing. I thought it was my allergies because my allergies make me feel the exact same way that this is making me feel. I just kept sneezing like a couple times, you know, every few hours. Um, but yeah. And that's it. It's my only side effect. I feel fine. I look probably like shit right now, but that's just because I'm exhausted from crying about this. But. There's no use to do that because that's not going to make anything better. I need to get healthy and I need to get out of this room. But that's why I thought it had allergies because my allergy symptoms are the same. Like, you know, there's a lot of dust on the ship. So I thought I was allergic to the dust. But obviously I'm not and I am tested positive with COVID. I will update y'all and let you know how I feel. But right now I can still smell. I can still taste. I can still function. My body doesn't hurt. So let me go show you guys a new room tour and I'm going to be vlogging the next five days. Yay. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. Luckily, they still gave me an outside double. It's the same room that I have. Just this one's actually kind of bigger. Um, the beds are here. I think I'm going to try to push the beds together. Um, and then I have a window, TV and my bag that I got to bring. This is everything I brought with me. That is it. Um, hopefully I'm only here for five days because I don't have a lot of stuff with me, but I have enough for five days. This is the bathroom. It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. And closets. Yeah, just more closet space. Yep, just as I thought. Right now, currently, it's 5 p.m. I missed one of my classes already. That was at 3 because they took me at 2. So I need to email my professors and I'm gonna do all that right now. And then I'm gonna unpack. And sad, I'm missing taco night tonight. So we'll see what dinner is tonight, but I'm missing out on tacos. That's all I know. So I am not a happy girl, but I, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and pout because that does not make the situation get better. I finished unpacking and I was gonna pick a movie to watch. I was gonna open over here, but then the dinner just came and we got tacos still. I'm so excited. This is the best looking dinner I've seen thus far. Um, it's taco night and normally it's pretty bad, but this is just a good occasion. And then he also gave a whole pitcher of water. Bro, that will last me like so long. They have a lot of good movies on here, so I'm not watching Crazy Rich Asians. I've already seen that movie, but I'm going to put on something else. This has to be the worst angle you're ever going to see from me ever, but I have nowhere else but this damn camera. So it's going to go there. And my hair looks like a little shitty right now because I put a hair mask in it. We're doing some self-love tonight. Um, 
I was gonna start working on homework, but I figured I should do work during the day and then just like chill out at night. So it is 7 p.m. now and I'm watching a Spider-Man movie, but I realized I've already seen this one and it's the only one I've ever seen. So I need to find something else to watch. I saw that they had the escape room of champions on the TV. So I think I'm gonna watch that, but then why, why I'm on the floor with this weird angle in this cup, I brought these propel sticks with me and they have electrolytes in them, which could be good. And I like, guys, I have no symptoms besides me just sneezing. I think I said that, but like I can still smell, I can still taste. I feel fine. The only thing is that like my nose is congested a little bit and I just kept sneezing and I thought it was allergies, but it wasn't. This works for me, this method. If you drink a lot of water when you're sick, you can kind of like pee out your illness or like sweat it out. So I am just going to be drinking a lot of water. They gave us this whole pitcher and I'm gonna try to drink like at least two of these a day. I don't know how often they refill them, but they better do it. Cause I'm gonna try to get the COVID out of me any way I can. And this is also a fun way to like drink water too. These little propel sticks. Oh my God, it's like coming up. Good morning guys. It's 7.30 and Romeo just woke me up and gave me my meal. He is the like person that brings me all my meals and I was sleeping and I wish I could just go back to sleep, but I can't. Here's breakfast though. It's more or less the same that we get upstairs. So it looks like they gave me beef. Um, this is a sausage, French toast, eggs, and the uh, fruit. Normally I just eat the French toast eggs and I get like a bowl of cereal. Cause I'm not gonna eat any of that meat, which is a little bit of food waste, but like they don't ask you what you want. And then he gave me another pitcher of water. So I need to drink the other one and start this new one. Today, my symptoms, I feel fine. Last night I like couldn't really like breathe out of my nose, but today I'm better. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I was really asymptomatic, but I tested negative two days ago. So I don't know how I caught it. Um, Romeo's also bringing me back coffee right now, which I need because he decided to wake me up at 7.30 for breakfast. Normally, I don't wake up until like 8 and I have global studies at 10, so I guess it's really not that bad, but I would be sleeping right now if I could. This is so funny. He just came to give me my coffee. This much, and then this cup has milk, and then this is like all the stuff. I'm gonna feel really bad about wasting all this food, but it's kind of exciting. You kind of just get to like get it. I'm so bored. This is my desk for the day. I do have desk in here, but I just wanted to sit on the floor, switch it up, you know? Um, yeah, what I'm doing currently is I would be in global studies right now and they released the midterm, which was actually really good, like the midterm study guide. So now I'm just filling out the entire midterm study guide. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right. Have a good day. Maybe you want to anything? You tell me, huh? Okay. If you want, huh? Okay. okay. I will. Exciting things are happening. Marvel is a counselor here, and me and Marvel we go way back. She's the one that helped me and talked to me, like when the whole Italy thing went down, and I thought that we tested positive and all that. I was a close contact, and she just dropped off. Well, she didn't drop off, but she gave it to the reception. Colored pencils and like these coloring sheets. They're really funny, but um, I think they're gonna be fun to do. I don't know. But now I have colored pencils to color with. Hey guys, so one good thing that I did before coming on SASS is that I watched a lot of this one girl. I, I think her name is Jordan something. She's an ice skater um, on Royal Caribbean or Adventure of the Seas, something like that, a really big cruise ship. And she was quarantined multiple times and she would always vlog her quarantines. 
So I got to get a lot of information of what she did when she was stuck in her cabin and she worked out a lot. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a workout teen inspired by her. I'm just gonna like run back and forth down this hallway in my room and then I'm going to do some ab stuff on my towel down here and then I have a resistant band that I can do like squats and lunges with so I'm gonna film that and you all will see me working out let's go yeah I'm like an addict do I gotta have it I ain't even playing got a really bad habit if it moves gotta grab it fuse like a magnet lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Dinner has been served Um And I've I've taken a nap today I did the homework I'm working on the Global Studies Midterm Study Guide And I'm doing a really good job at it I might honestly sell it to some people Because chef's kiss material there's nothing else you can do in here so i'm doing like a really good job on my homework right now <laughs> and i actually did watch two movies um i'm in theater so i actually have to watch like movies for homework and i watched two so i did do some things but then i took a nap so like that's why i'm like whatever this is the vulnerability of being on youtube and all that you got to show the ups and the downs um i don't know how i make this look better because i'm in a room you know, like, I can't make this better. I can't make it up. Let me show you dinner. I didn't even really look at it yet. Oh, and we got more water. So I get a pitcher of water for every meal, and I'm literally going to pee myself if I keep drinking this water. Okay, so we got an apple. I ate my orange today, so I'm going to put this apple over here with the other one. The dessert for today is some tart pastry, which, honestly, we're going to move right over here, too, because I don't think I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Um, a salad, I can tell it's already the balsamic dressing on here, and cheese. Cheese is always good, I like that. Um, and it looks like we got pasta, beans, and potatoes. No ketchup, no salt, no butter, no bread. All right. <laughs> Hi guys, it's day two, and I don't know if you can see, there we go. We made it to Malta and everybody is off the ship. Um, they went off this morning and it is 12 p.m. now. They left about two hours ago and I'm just like now starting to see people like post things on Instagram and Snapchat but like I'm really happy for them and I like obviously like I want to I want everyone to go out and explore the city it just sucks when you're here but you can't go out but now I have like more sympathy for like all of the crew that can't leave when we come to these places and it's their job and all of that um, but I guess it's still sad for them too that they don't ever get to get off the ship they have to stay here the whole time and it just sucks even more for me because I can't leave this room and I'm not going to be able to get off at all. Our quarantine ends on Friday and Friday is the last day that we're in Malta. But in order to get off in Malta, you had to show a QR code called Verify. It has like all your information on it and the, the, you had to do that today. And obviously I didn't do that today because I'm in here. so don't think on Friday I'm gonna be able to get off so I don't think I'm actually ever gonna see Malta maybe on Friday if I test negative I'll be able to go up to the top deck and see the city because we pulled in this morning at 6 a.m. so I actually didn't even get to look out my window I've only seen this oh, so sad you see that look how sad um yeah but on better news, Emery, my roommate, she asked for peanut butter and they gave her a whole jar. So then I was like, bruh, I'm gonna ask for peanut butter and I got a plate. So I don't get a jar. I'm really happy for her that she got a jar. And even better news, she tested today and she tested negative. But she
she still can't leave the ship or anything or her cabin but she might be able to go outside because she's negative and that also means that she didn't contract covid from me so i'm really happy for her and i hope that she gets to go outside and like sit up there and have some outside time because they did promise outside time for the close contacts obviously me like i have covid i can't leave this room but um it makes me happy to know that she might be able to go outside and sit out there and do whatever um but yeah i'm just going to eat my lunch it got delivered today we have sandwiches rice and some vegetables and chocolate cake i've just been editing the croatia video and i'm gonna try to upload it i don't think it's gonna upload with this terrible wi-fi and i also don't have data so we'll see place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be i don't want to let myself down myself different nothing new i really thought this was gonna be monumental but it's not i feel better but it also is making me kind of sad because now i'm like well where am i going i just got ready and i don't have anywhere to go i didn't think about that On FaceTime with my friend Morgan. Say hi. Oh, hello, vlog. <laughs> what do you think? What do you want to say to the vlog? What do I want to say? Yeah. The connection is bad. I want to <laughs> say I feel really bad for Shelby now that she is stuck in this isolation mental hospital, <laughs> and I'm sending all my love and support. Ah, uh, love. Good morning guys, um, it's the fifth day, I just got tested, I just woke up, if I am negative, I can leave today, and they said that we can go outside into Malta, but if I'm positive, then I'm in this room for five more days, 
so. I'm waiting for the call, and when that happens, I'll grab my phone and I'll put it on with you guys. Hello? Hi. I uh, I don't know. This is Shelby. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm negative. <laughs> I don't want to be in this stupid room anymore. Okay, so basically what just happened was um, they called, they said I'm negative. I'm so happy I don't have to be in this room anymore. Um, I'm crying happy tears because this is fucking terrible. But um, I think I'm going to be able to go outside. <laughs> And I'm gonna start packing right now. <laughs> I have to start packing. I'm like laying in bed, but um, yay. This is the first time I'm stepping outside to buy this stupid room in this hallway. Here I go. Hi guys. So as you can see, I'm outside. Um, we've been outside for all of the day. We were actually denied permission to go out on land, so I've never seen Malta, but here it is. It's so beautiful, so pretty, and with me finally, coming over here. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. like what it's gonna be but it's something and hopefully this never happens to us again so thanks for watching this video if you liked it subscribe if you have any questions about quarantine comment and we'll answer them yeah so thanks guys for watching bye guys